Hello there, internet. It's Mogwai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. Your boy hit Masters rank, and I'm gonna share the deck that I used to get there. We are gonna play Monkey Business, and no, it does not feature the new card Monkey Business. In fact, I called this deck Monkey Business before Monkey Business was printed or digitally created, however you want to say it. So, uh, it does play Monkey Idol, which is a very important, in fact, one of the most important cards in this deck. And this is just an archetype that I absolutely adore. Really, really proud of this build. I optimized it from a while back. I've been playing uh, Gangplex Thresh for quite some time now. But uh, this deck is uh, really up to date with what you are going to be encountering in the meta. Why did I choose this deck? To try hard all the way from diamond four to master's rank well because it is kind of like an anti-meta anti-meta or have you guys seen the movie inception it's pretty much like that it's like a counterception right a dream within a dream a counter within a counter so we are countering the people on diamond rank trying to counter the aurelian soul trundle ramp decks how are they doing that? They're going full smork, baby. They're going, you see decks like Noxus Aggro with Gangplank. You see uh, a bunch of different aggressive variants like Misfortune Quinn. Uh, you see Nocturne, Nightfall, etc., etc. And we also like the Spider Aggro deck as well. And we want to, you know, capitalize on all those fools and farm them points. And that's what this deck did in the first day. Cause I, I, it was a two day climb, right? The first day we went 20 and six, a 76% win rate. Day two, it wasn't as great. We went 18 and 14, a 65% win rate in total. Uh, you know, considering both days, which was a very successful climb, but gotta give it that day two was definitely tougher because I was streaming and I started running into a bunch more Trundle decks. Now, I wanna preface this video by saying that this is a try hard video, right? Whenever I attempt to reach master's rank, I get very serious mode, <laughs> English, and uh, I'm not out there to make any friends. So basically I'm pretty intense and uh, focused and uh, I'm not messing around too much. So you guys are gonna notice that slight change in attitude in the video and i wanted to make sure you know that I, I made you guys aware of that regardless i am very happy with how it went and i am super happy with this deck list this is one of my favorite archetypes ever and it features two of my top five favorite champions let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to actually do a video on my top five favorite champions it sounds really stupid but i actually thought i could make it pretty fun and uh yeah why the fuck not honestly so uh, having that said, what is Gameplank Thresh? Why is this deck as neat as it is? Well, it is basically a keg control deck. Uh, Powder Kegs is my favorite mechanic from Rising Tides, and one of the reasons why Rising Tides is my favorite expansion up to date. I really, really love what they did with this mechanic, and I love Gangplank because he is the champion that promotes said mechanic the most, as he synergizes with them directly, as he does spawn a Powder Keg himself. Our objective with this deck is we have, we're trying to do two things, right? When we're playing this deck, there's two major things you have to focus on. Number one, you want to level up Thresh because once you level up Thresh, you will be able to pull out a game plank from your deck as you are attacking. And if you fulfill the requirement number two, then you're in for a big, big power play because the second objective we have with this deck is to level up Gangplank. So it's pretty straightforward. We want to level up both of our champions, right? But they both uh, level up in different ways, though there are cards like Monkey Idol that help out both of them level up at the same time, which is why Monkey Idol is an absolute staple for the archetype. I mean, alongside Petty Officer, honestly, because this card is a little bit broken for what it does. So we are running these two as our three drops. It's a very, very easy choice in that regard. So how does Monkey Idol help out both champions level up? Well, regarding Thresh, as you are generating monkeys, these monkeys are ephemeral. Therefore, they are dying at the end of the turn if they don't attack or clash uh, beforehand, which means that they are triggering Thresh's uh, level up requirement. And eventually the Monkey Idol will also go down itself. So Monkey Idol can lead up to between three and four deaths for Thresh over the span of two or three turns which is really, really neat. But because of the last birth effect of the Powder Monkeys, we are also dealing one to the enemy Nexus every time they die, which really helps us out with the Plunder 
requirements for Gangplank's level up. As if Monkey Idol is not removed from the, from the board over the span of three turns, we will have progressed Gangplank's level up by three. We also have other tools to enable Gangplank's level up early on, as we're running a couple of parlays, which are really getting us aggressive decks to enable us to take out their one drop and also deal damage to the Nexus, helping us level up Gangplank, and a full set of Make It Rain and Unspeakable Horror. Do not play Vile Feast in, in this deck anymore. Unspeakable Horror is significantly better in the build because this card can go face so in a pinch if we have no other way to plunder and we really want to work towards game playing's level up of course it depends on what matchup we're facing and the board that we're you know uh facing as well if we're facing a very aggressive deck we have to prioritize this on units most of the time but if we're facing a slower more passive deck we can actually use this to ping the opposing nexus and help us go for the GP level up as well. As these ping effects like Parley, Make It Rain, and Speak of Horror, alongside a full set of Withering Whale are damaging effects. They initially deal one damage, but thanks to the powder kegs generated by our Dreadway Deckhands, Petty Officers, and Mr. Gangplank himself, we are able to enhance the damage output of these uh, cards. And cards like Make It Rain and Withering Whale specifically go up in value tremendously because every time we're uh, incorporating a keg to the mix the aoe effect is going up so when it comes to withering whale we are dealing two damage to all enemies with one keg three damage to all enemies with two kegs so on and so forth so this is very very strong for example against misfortune quin decks because it's a demacia based uh, strategy that's basically all of their damage output is on units so if we are able to board wipe them we pretty much win the game, which is why setting up uh, Withering Will is really neat. But a little bit of a tip, when you go for these big uh, power plays, like having a, a couple of kegs or one or two kegs stacked up, and then you want to go for your AoE effect, make sure you wait, sorry, you wait until you have enough mana to have a backup plan. What I mean by that is you can go for a Withering Will. Imagine your opponent has a single combat to, to kill your kegs so that they weaken your attack. Well, you have a Make It Rain in the backup that you can uh, react to that with, and therefore still get the powder kegs exploding and deal a lot of damage and uh, therefore nullify their single combat play, right? You need to have backup when you go for these. Otherwise, you're very wide open unless, you know, your opponent is out-tempoing you and you have no other choice. You have to do it to stay alive. Be cautious. Make sure you build up. and Be safe about it. Be smart about it, basically. And make the kegs go boom, boom in the right way and you will most definitely see profit we also have a couple of copies of zap spray Finn, as he has elusive can get us a one of our cheap spells mostly our pings throughout his uh summoning effect and we can also enable plunder things to the elusive that i mentioned prior really neat kind of like the new shadow assassin in a way ever since she got nerfed and uh, very very uh useful in this deck and then regarding our late game we have uh, a couple of Rekindlers and a one-off of Spectral Matron and Dreadway. Spectral Matron may seem a little bit off, but it's basically my third Rekindler, right? Instead of running three Rekindlers, I'm running a one-off of Spectral Matron because Spectral Matron onto Rekindler is a really strong power play. It allows us to develop a 6-6 with Fearsome alongside a 4-4 body and the champion itself. We can also, in a pinch, use it with Dreadway as well one turn early or even drop a leveled up Gangplank earlier uh, and try to go for the kill, right? Spectral Matron is mostly there for turns in which we either want to spread out really fast to catch up with the opponent's board or we want to kill him we want to make sure we uh, have as much of a chance at lethal as possible and getting that extra big body on the board that's hard to block can definitely go a long way and that's why i really like her in this build a couple of engines as well because there are certain things that are too big too thick too fat for us to ping down like, for example, the My Splitter, amongst other things, we're able to Vengeance that. Also, Vengeance is a great way for us to deal with Aurelian Assault because we can save up, either make it rain or Unspeakable Horror to ping away the Spell Shield and then bop that dragon, which is actually easy, uh, believe it or not. So, basically, this deck really struggles mainly with ramp decks, specifically Trundle decks, which is something that I, I started running into more the second day, which is why my win rate was a little bit more hindered. But ultimately, we still uh, went positive above positive and we stayed at 65 percent and we eventually reached master's rank and in today's video i'm going to showcase the climb uh, some pretty intense games that i had along the way and hopefully you guys uh, pick up some pointers as to how to pilot deck and set up the thresh level ups with the games that i got for you and that is all i gotta say thank you guys for watching thank you so much for all the support on my videos if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe because i do upload a new deck every single day 
and I will stop talking. Have a whole day, enjoy the matches, and I'll see you tomorrow. As well, out from the if I could get some early game, that would be hey, nice. Mogwai, what do you think about a Tarek and playful trickster deck to attack three oh. times in one turn? It's fun if you can level up. Miss I mean, that, that combo that combo has been known for a while, man. Uh, what do I think about it? I think it's Mimi, I don't think too much of it. Fuck me. This is supposed to be a super easy matchup and I just drew like ass. Come on. Come on. Alright. Alright. Okay. I mean, I could just pass here. Then he goes for the open attack. And I can go on from there. I'll take that pass. By the way, in case anybody's wondering, that's how Nightfall works. When you put a spell on the stack, and then your opponent reacts. I'm gonna draw vengeance in case my opponent uh, 
drop save they who endure now. I should have waited, but I want tempo more than anything. If he's not gonna play they who endure this turn, a tribute to the spider god. Oh, fresh Sure about that? We could use the bike. Join the conflagration. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. For now. Oh. Honestly, I don't really have a good reason for you. Okay, this this brings you back. I like the withering whale. I like I like this hand in general. I think because this is definitely gonna be a spider based deck. Or miss wraith. Okay. I'm gonna drop the Dreadway deckhand so that I can start working for getting planes level up. Hmm, no. I mean, what what if he? Uh, it's okay. He needs a vial feast anyways, so I'm, I'm gonna try to prevent that. All right, he has it. That's what you get. You got legs. Use them. I mean, is he playing Allegiance? There's no way he's playing Will of Ionia. So I guess I just gotta watch out for stuff like Vengeance.
I can use hired gun combined with this. Mug been wondering if championless and dying still a thing with the new expansion. Other than that, <sighs> have a good you, one. You. Thank you for being who you are and mind your posture. Stay hydrated. Come on, can I get me a thresh? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No. He needs another ruination here. He needs another. Who runs two ruinations? Get the fuck out of here. Let's do this. You don't have two ruinations. Spectro matron. We're going in. Because this attack just goes down. Hey! Ha ha ha! Got him. Okay. We're back in one. Alright. Alright. Just three more to go. Alright, Sejuani Plunder. Let's drop the Vengeance. Let's drop one Dreadweed that can. As we search for some pings, that parley is pretty neat. Especially if my opponent is going to be trying to level up Sejuani. Vengeance is good to have for Sejuani, but I don't need it in my opening hand. Uh, I, I need to be as efficient as I can with my curve here. Things that I would like to see. Well, the the one mana one one elusive. Love Plunder. the content and creativity in trying all different concepts. Would love to see you teching against the tournament scene again. Yeah, yeah, I, I plan to get back into tournaments. Honestly, I... but the reason why I haven't hey, signed I up to one yet like is because I, I want to figure out the meta a little money bit more. To go with your money. Batman. That's pretty good. Monkey time. Monkey time. pretty good we are one ahead as well and now we have this one enabled too oh there's your boy I like curving into gangplank here all right six cards he's got card advantage on me though Blood. 
We have the Vengeance for Sidwani. We actually want Gangplank to die, so we have him in the Rekindler pool. And our opponent has to block regardless because this is overwhelmed, so it's a hit that he has to respect. I, I just I love Gangplank as a champion. I love playing with him. Make it worth my while. Son of a bow to no one. Speak of a horror is so good in this game, in this deck. It's so damn good. I was thinking about going for vengeance, but do I really need to? I don't think so. The Sejuani is still like, oh, like she's not a threat right now. Riptide Rex could be threatening, but he needs to have, first of all, he needs to have Warning Shot and Riptide Rex in hand, and I'm going to go super wide with my second Rekindler. Other than Riptide Rex, this, this region combination does not have good ways to deal with spread out board states that are so thick. So we're going in, boys. You best believe we're going in. We're too wide. Unless he gets like some crazy. Yeah, you're dead. Break their legs. Off with you. Leave no survivors. I mean, you can always have something to deal with my. I mean, right now he's super dead, but he. Okay. That's enough to keep him alive for now. No, actually, no. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to go for card draw. My, I just realized my, my my opponent's name is Mightiest Midget. <laughs> Tyler one confirmed. <laughs> okay, you win the internet. You win the internet today. Pain is nothing. Whenever I hear that, whenever I hear that that quote, I always think of Batman Begins and Liam Neeson as as Ra's al Ghul. Training is nothing. Will is everything! Such a good quote. L Liam Neeson is just so badass in whatever he does. I, I love I love that movie. That movie is so underrated. Alright, alright. We're going places. Alright. Okay, this is a good matchup. Targon is very popular. And... And that means Hush is pretty prevalent, right? Okay, let's mulligan you, you, you. Mog, would you ever run the, the monkey spell on this? 
No, because I don't plunder as much. I would I would think about running the monkey spell and like uh, gangplank Sejuani, which is like more aggressive and more focused on plunder. Here, sometimes we struggle with plunder, so enabling monkey business, it's only gonna come in handy when we already have a uh, we already have a monkey idol on the board, and then we don't need it, right? Which is funny because I named I named this deck monkey business last patch. And I forgot that there's a card called Monkey Business. So when I tweeted this out yesterday, I probably confused a lot of people. The reason why I'm passing here is because I'm baiting him. Thank you. Devotion to battle! I don't think- I don't like Solari Soldier in this deck. It's good for one hit, but then- I don't know. It's not a bad card, I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm, I'm not a big fan. It's all from the street. The guilty were banned. Wait. <laughs> I'm a dick. Oh, Mega Lola. That's pretty good. That's a that's a plunder enabler right there. We have a blocker for this now. All right, no no nocturne threat. This makes me want to set up. Uh... Not play gangplank. I almost made a mistake there. Pale Cascade could be an issue here. I probably I should have played you. I should have played the uh, stage and looker here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I should have gone for this. This is why we run Vengeance though. It's, it's just so reliable. Okay. Our light grows brighter. We still need like... I mean, unless he has like four copies of this, which he can't play even. These boxes is just gonna murder him. There we go. 
Box is so good against this deck. Yeah, it's 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 murder. Like Box is just incredible. I'm not afraid of their of their Nocturne turn because of it, especially with double box in him. <sighs> okay. All right, we're close. We are close. I'm not sure what I'm facing. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's some sort of like aggressive deck, but an aggressive deck with Tarek is is interesting. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Definitely an aggro deck. Devotion to battle. I wanna play some mind games with him. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. This will set them running. Better so them. paint is just accidental art. Needs sh shampoo.
baby! Whoo! Okay. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking, son. Now we're talking. Okay, so boom, boom, five, eight, ten. It's just one from leveling up. So let, 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 let's search for that. Let's search for that thing. Come on, baby. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. That works, too. That doesn't really work. Actually, yes, it does. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Say. And it's over now. Because I said so. Thrash Gangplank. Two masters, baby. Get in there! Get in there! Drink up! The taverns will sing our tale this eve. Booyah. There we go. What does this even mean? <laughs> Am I gonna reach Supermasters? <laughs>